Bonjour et bienvenue. Good morning and welcome everybody. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you here this morning. My name is Amin Jaffer. I'm the director of the Althani Collection to a conference um, from mansion to museum, which we are staging in conjunction with our exhibition upstairs, which I hope you have all seen or which you will all see, about uh, the taste and the vision of the great collector, Kalus Gulbenkian. The idea to stage this conference was very much inspired by a visit which I took to uh, Lisbon a few years ago, well before COVID, at the time that uh, we, the Altani Collection, had began to think about what we would realize in the museum spaces that we have here in the Hotel de la Marine. And as a way of giving the Centre des Monuments Nationaux an idea of what Sheikh Hamad's vision and taste is, and to give them an idea of an institution that inspired us, both Sheikh Hamad and myself, I organized a trip to Lisbon with Edward de Lamley from the Centre des Monuments Nationaux, and uh, we attended so that they could see the Gulbenkian Museum to understand, in a sense, the diversity and the richness and the complexity of Sheikh Hamad's taste. So you see the links between the Gulbenkian and the Althani collection are extremely close, uh, it's a collection which His Highness Sheikh Hamad knows very, very well, as different curators from the Gulbenkian will know from his visits, and which I also know from my childhood. It's a collection which has inspired us. On that visit a few years ago, uh, the Gulbenkian had staged a two-day conference, which uh, I attended and which I found very deeply um, inspirational. It focused not so much on Gulbenkian himself, but very much on the context to his collecting, the concurrent, the, 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 his competition uh, at the time, uh, dealers at the moment, uh, the question of legacy, what would happen to the collections formed by these people, the dispersal of the aristocratic and royal collections at the time in the late 19th and the early 20th century, and the opportunities that this posed for, for new arrivals, whether they were great commercial or industrial fortunes, in attempting to uh, uh, put together outstanding collections that evoke the royal collections which they had always dreamed of or which they always knew. So um, when we were approached by the CMN who told us about the upcoming Saison France Portugal of uh, 2022 and whether we could take on a project in line with the Saison we, Sheikh Hamad and I thought immediately of the Carlos Gulbenkian Museum as our natural partners in Portugal. And I rang Nuno Vassalo Silva to talk about the project. He spoke with the team at the Gulbenkian who expressed an interest. And the next step was very much to begin to think about what we could show. Our space, uh, for those of you who already know it, our Gallery 3 is, is a very intimate one. It's a very small one with a static arrangement of cases. So uh, Nuno came back very diplomatically with a counter list and a proposal of how to address the, set, the question of Mr. Gulbenkian and his taste. And what he did is that he distilled uh, the museum into the collecting criteria of Mr. Gulbenkian. What were the factors that really determined uh, whether uh, Mr. Gulbenkian would acquire a work of art or not? what was important for him as a collector. And in this way, we were able to choose objects from the collection um, to display here in Paris. Uh, the question of intimacy is really important because we know that Mr. Gulbenkian was somebody who had really a personal, a close, touching personal rapport with the works of art that he collected, that he was surrounded by them, that he loved to be alone with them. He studied extensively his objects. And, um, so we came up with the, with the title of, of uh, the, really looking at the intimate world of Mr. Gulbenkian, and I think the exhibition designers have succeeded in evoking this sense of being in Avenue de Jena and uh, being surrounded by these objects of, of um, Mr. Gulbenkian's um, world. I would like now to introduce Antonio Pimentel, the, the director of the Gulbenkian Museum, who is here in rather remarkable circumstances because if, if you don't mind me saying, because yesterday evening when he arrived in Paris, his luggage was stolen. And so I was 
uh, I know he's Superman, looking at him today wearing per perfectly dressed in a suit. So I don't know how, how he achieved this miracle. But Antonio, if you would like to come and say a few words before we open the, the conference sessions. Well, thank you very much for your words of introduction. I mean, and especially for me, I, I am in that condition of being homeless, as uh, I mean, told you, so I'm uh, experiencing the, the taste of being uh, in uh, uh, other guys' shoes, as uh, we, we all as we all say in Portuguese. So that's my turn to, to, to thank uh, a lot uh, uh, the Altani Foundation and, uh, and um, it seems a little a sacra conversazione, but uh, I, I guess finally at least I'm alone at the stage, at the floor. Well, just to say that I, I have no speech at all, as uh, uh, when we were stolen of everything, we lost uh, my computer, my back case, everything, and of course, uh, from the top to the shoes. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but especially to, to say that it's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, and for the Gulbenkian team, which is represented here by my colleague Jessica Elliott and, of course, by João Carvalho Dias, who is uh, the deputy director and, unfortunately, cannot be here in presence. But uh, thinking uh, in, um, in his one experience uh, in an expression that he tells me, Mr. Gulbenkian usually says that the art is a sort of a consolation for him. And I guess that's the point who, who met us together in this, in this room and in this journey in Paris. The art is a sort of a consolation for all of us because all of we uh, have that sense of the, of the importance of, uh, of the art in our times and in our lives. Uh, in his own life, uh, as Jonathan Connolly knows better than, uh, than everyone uh, of us, he is so he, he has a, such a huge um, attention to his business that the art is a sort of a, a window uh, who, for him to to breathe and then but nowadays i guess that the art has the same the same um, the same sense to to all of us so that's just a few words to thank you very much of all for coming and uh, and bringing your collaboration to this meeting, and to thank especially Amin and the Altani Foundation for the organization of this of this meeting. And and well, and I hope that you may have all a very good journey of work, as I myself cannot, unfortunately, assist at the end of everything because I must go to the police to 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 take to to give them part of what uh, I've uh, uh, lost yesterday, uh, which I rather don't know yet, because when we put something on your luggage, we didn't thought, we didn't thought of everything, and so I, I wish I can make a list and so on. Well, that's a difficult, that's the real life, perhaps not a consolation one, but even so, thank you very much.